Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday and that usually means sips and stencils. So I have my sips. I'm drinking some white wine, some Riesling, and I had my stencil and I started to create. Well, the layout is wet and it's still wet. So <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to dry, so that sips and stencil layout is not going up today. What I thought I would do, however, is kind of set this thing up. So I got this die and stamp storage case. Uh, it's a We Are Memory Keepers, which is American Crafts. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. They're normally $28 at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was on clearance. So I thought I would try this out, right? Um, so I thought maybe we could set it up together. So if you hate the plastic noise, I'm sorry. If you love the plastic noise, like hip hip hooray, right? So it comes with these dividers and the dividers have a pre-made place to go into. So it has a tab here. So I've got mixed media all over, sprays and stuff all over my hands. A tab here and a tab here at the bottom. So you just slide them in and then they kind of live like this. So you could probably do more, uh, not more, but you could do less dividers, I'm assuming, if you wanted to. Um, and then it also comes with these bad boys. So let's get these open. Keep this bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. The thin film may cling to nose and mouth and prevent breathing. So if you're a dunderhead, don't give your children the plastic to play with. So here is the pocket itself. Now it does have three holes in it. I'm assuming that is so if you want it to put this in a binder, you could. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. So obviously we need to get some more of these bad boys. Um, but I'm also gonna see if my stamp pockets work. And then it comes with magnet sheets. To go in here. So I do have this new stamp to me uh, from Brutus Monroe. It's Nutcracker Parade and then I also have the coordinating dies. Now I don't remember exactly when it was but Brutus Monroe put out a release and I did one of those buy it all things and it was really awesome because it came in this zippered pouch. Just side note, I love bags. Guys, bags make bags make my heart happy, right? And there's things in here that I'm going to be using in my December project. Um, but we'll talk about the December project soon because I have some fun things that I'm putting in the shop. I'm so excited. Have to stip since we're not stenciling. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to take it out of the plastic. So this is, like I said, this is Nutcracker Parade. Okay, so it fits in there. Perfect. Like, that's fine and dandy. And then the coordinating dies. More plastic noise, right? Like, more plastic noise. It's just the way it is. So... This is a die set that doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of dies to it. So there's no, there's no problem with me putting these dies on here. Okay, so I got the die set. And we're gonna slide that in there as well. 
Now it does have this little thing right here. I'm assuming that's to click on something, to click on the little die thing here. So it does, oh, so the die set won't fall out. Uh, your stamp set will, but your die set won't fall out. Okay. Right, and we'll put it in there like that. So let me grab um, a die set, a stamp and die set that is in a pocket already. So I have um, these in these extra large stamp pockets. So I have the stamp set and the magnetic sheet with it on there. So comparing size wise, they're they're pretty they're pretty much the same size. This has a tab and this doesn't. But that can go in there sideways too. So I guess what I would have to do, I don't know if I'd actually use all of these dividers. I feel like they these are a big space. Like I this is another this is another stamp set that could go in here. Right? So, what I could do is do a box for each theme. Um, like, I could put all my, my holiday stamps in one and then, like, it, label it holiday and put it up. I really do like this. I like the fact that it's covered, it's got a lid, because my stamps now are not, stamps now are like this, like they're kind of all over the place. But I also have some of these big stamps that are not going to fit in here. So I, no matter what, I'm still going to have to have stamp storage for the stamps that don't fit. So like these, these big long ones that I have, I also have this, um, this big, huge floral set. Now I could cut this down and like put this as a six by six stencil or stamp and these other ones, but I want to keep them together. So we're gonna we're gonna leave those like that. I guess my next question is, how do my other stamp pockets work in here, right? So I've got multiple stamp pocket sizes going on here in my life. So I have these six by six stamp pockets for my six by six stamps. These are a bit of a thicker stamp pocket than the Avery L. Um, I think these, where I had purchased them from, they are discontinued. They don't sell them anymore. Um, but I mean, okay, so that fits there. That's fine, right? Like that's, that's not gonna be a problem. I have these these, which are, if I put them like that, like that might be a problem. Oops, I knocked that bad boy right out of there. That might be a problem like this, but they can't go like this because they're too big. So do I put them in other stamp pockets that will fit? Because um, again, these are those thicker stamp pockets, but the company I purchased them from does not uh, make them anymore. And then uh, I have these, which are like the normal size, regular normal size stamp pockets. I realize I keep pulling out um, Brutus Monroe stamps. I do have other stamps. <laughs> I promise. Um, so, like, here is a pocket like that so again if I put it that way it's it's a little too tall if I put it this way it's it's not as tall and there's a little bit of a an issue getting my hand down in there I do think I am going to 
really love this though with the way with the way this is. I'm a fan because you know the extra large ones just pop in there and that's that's not a problem whatsoever. Like this is an extra large one. It's Christmas. It just pops in. So these are these are all Christmas. Some of them have um, some of them have their backings and some don't. I went through a moment where I didn't want any of the packaging and then I was like, what am I doing? I'm not going to remember which company uh, each stamp set is from. But I mean, that's Brutus Monroe, that's Brutus Monroe, that's Gina K, that's Brutus Monroe. So I don't necessarily know if it's actually an issue. Let's get that out of there because that's not Christmas. I don't know if it is an actual issue. Oh, here we go. What about these um, close to my heart? Oh, they'll fit fine. Um, the only question is, do I leave these in these little stamp, stamp pockets like this? Or do I put them, get big stamp pockets? It doesn't even have... Um, Well, I mean, I guess they could close like that. They are closing like that. The the pockets a little bends a little bit. So we'll see. Um, this probably not because um, of how big the. Uh, how big the stamp is so it doesn't so these are all my Christmas stamps this is a little ridiculous huh I think I'm going to take out that the question I guess is going to be is if these are jam jam-packed full like if these are jam-packed full am I going to be able to flip like I I can't flip in here if these are jam-packed full either so I don't know what I'm saying right like it's it's just how it is so these are new I haven't even um I haven't even undone those yet so And these guys definitely don't fit. Uh, even if I cut, took them out of the packaging, they don't fit because they they are so so long. So these need a different a different place to live. Um, and it could be it could be this, like this could be my oversized stamps. These could definitely do this. Let's see. These are Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. So I also have my other, um, my other holidays here, like my Thanksgiving. And all that. I also have combo stamps. Like these are combos. This is Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Okay, this is like monthly things. These are definitely Christmas. That's definitely Christmas. That's definitely Christmas. 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 
That's all holidays, all holidays, all holidays. So like my, kind of like the all holiday ones, I'm not going to put in there. These are like Valentine's, Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving. So they're not going to live in my, in my Christmas stamp world. But these are all Christmas stamps. And I probably need to go through everything and decide which stamps I actually love, which stamps I want to keep. Um, which stamps I don't want to keep. So I've, I've already taken out four of the dividers. Oh, five. Five dividers, right? And I don't know, necessarily know if... So I guess what, what I have to figure out, you guys, is am I going to get pockets and storage so that they all fit? Like, am I just going to invest in larger pockets? Now, is it cheaper to buy these pockets that like are made for this? Or is it cheaper to buy these extra large stamp pockets like this and put them in like that? Because like I said, they're basically the same size. They fill, they both fill from one side to the other of the stamp set or the, the, the thing. It's just a matter of if I want to do that and figuring that out. So originally I had bought this just for die storage. Let's see how, let's see how heavy this is. Much more manageable than this heavy, heavy thing. And this will be great because I would love to use these fridge bins for other things um, instead of stamps. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. And it's got this, like you can pick it up like this because it's got this indent right here. And it's much, much more manageable if I shake it up and shake it around, even if they don't fit like these, even though they're shaking like this. Like, nothing's going to fall out. Nothing's going to be loose. Okay, so, and then all the Christmas ones are here. Minus my oversized ones. Like I said, I have a couple oversized stamps that won't fit in here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for these. Let me know in the comments below if you have this system, if you've thought about this system. I think this will work beautifully. I wish I had a regular bookcase in my room that I could put these in. Um, instead of, I have all Expedit slash Calyx um, in my room. Which is great. I love the cube storage. Um, yeah. So, let me know what you think. Because... Yeah, I'm dying to know. Anyway, that is my weird, not so sippy and stencily video for today. Uh, but like I said, it is still drying. Let me actually grab it and show you guys um, a peek. Like, this is the back, guys. This is the back. So it's you know it's wet because the back <laughs> is almost completely soaked through. So that bad boy is over there drying. Christmas stamps are in here. I only have one more of these. So I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna place a wholesale order. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in these bad boys, um, because if I have enough interest, I'll place a wholesale order. Um, a larger wholesale order, kind of like I did with uh, the page protectors, because a lot of you guys bought page protectors off the website. Um, but let me know if you're interested. Let me know if you think this kind of thing would work for you. If you like separating your stamps and dies into... I've got... Oh, no. No, no, no. This might not work. I'm like wrapping up the video and it might not work. 
Okay, so here's, here's the thing. I also have all of these, all of these dies, right? And they are in kind of order, not really, but kind of. And not all of these dies go with the stamps. Now, my thing is, let me get these out of the way. That, that'll help at least a little bit. So I have these dies, and this is heavy. Like, straight up, this is heavy. The thing is, is do I want to... Oh, my hands hurt so bad. Okay. The thing is, is do I want to have the dies in here with my stamps? So I just got, like, look. I've got these bad boys. I got some new um, dies the other day. Like, I have, I got these, these are, um, this year, I'm pretty sure this is last year's, but my, my, like, do I want to put all of my dies in here, or do I keep my dies separate? I keep my dies and my stamps separate now, because I think of them as separate things. Like, I think... Oh, I want to die cut something. I think I'm going to keep them separate. We're going to keep them separate. But these, this is how I have my dies stored. And this is starting to turn into like a weird room tour. So we're just going to stop now. Now that I've decided that the stamps need to be separate um, from the dies. We're good. We're good. And that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.